Hi there, gear fans. My name is Dan. You're watching GearWire. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, how to deal with delay compensation in uh, Sonar 6. Now, if you check out our last uh, video on the LA-3A, uh, and it's a, particular, the, it's a drum video, uh, LA-3A on a drum loop, um, I attempted to use the LA-3A for parallel compression, and it did not work out. Um, and let me show you exactly what happened there. So right now, I have uh, the LA-3 set up to do some, some fairly harsh compression. And uh, here's our drum track. This is the same drum track we used in that video. And it's going out on a send, but I have the send off right now. So this is our dry track. This is from Drum Core. And um, now I'm going to turn on our effect send and, well, you'll hear what happens. So you can hear there's some phase problems, you can hear sort of even on the kick drum you can hear like a quick delay. Maybe a little bit more of that. Alright, so let's listen to our, just the, the, the compressed track. As you can hear there's really no problem there. So the issue we have here is um, actually uh, what it's delay. It's delay that's going through the UAD. Um, these plugins are are they process on a separate DSP card, so there is a, a, a amount of buffer delay. So what I have to do is I go up to Tools and uh, Cakewalk Plugin Manager. Unfortunately, these have to be turned on manually, and I go to our VST Audio Effects and go all the way down to our UAD LA3A. So there it is, and then I have to click over here, plug in properties, um, and then if we take a look at this dialog, we have all sorts of different things, but the one we're, we're uh, looking at is um, enable delay compensation. We click that, press OK, it rewrites the list of audio effects, and what we have to do then to actually make it work is uh, do a rescan of the VST plugins. That only takes a second, though, depending on how many plugins you have. So then we can close the manager, and um, I'm going to reinstantiate uh, the plugin LA3A and get to about the same settings that we had. And now let's listen to our track. This is our dry track again. And now here comes our compressed track. Doesn't work, huh? Well, what we actually have to do is restart sonar. Save. Okay, so we reopen our tra our uh, project, and as you can hear, it sounds nice now. It sounds right. These are this is here's our track just dry, just for reference, and then here's our beefed up track with the co compressed track as well. Now that's weird. That's a weird thing I did not expect. Here, I, again, once again, s see if you can see what I'm doing. This is our dry track, and when I turn on the send, listen to what happens. Not right, right? It's exactly what was happening before. So now I just stop it and play it again. So once again, we found a little <laughs> weirdness with the UAD plugin. We enabled the plugin compensation, but when we have our tra our uh, effect on ascend, the compensation is not done when you turn on the send on the fly. So that's something to keep in mind, gear fans. The UADs are a little uh, finicky uh, in this version of Sonar. Perhaps they fixed it in, fixed it in Sonar 7, which uh, I should be getting in uh, within the week. And we'll have some videos and we'll, we'll re-examine this problem. Uh, and see if they have that fixed in Sonar 7 as soon as we get a chance. So thanks for checking out the video.